Hey everybody, I'm Kyle. I'm Ian, and this is Door Monster News. Last week's video was uh, ma the man who can't finish anything. These are the comments. Baragond23 says, Okay, that ending was great. I like how in a previous community comments you've talked about how the end card was becoming a sort of punchline laughter cue, and now you figured out how to turn it against us. A+. plus. Yeah, I like that too. It was a fun like conversation, I think. That was what I did like about it. It was just um, most of the dialogue I thought was was fun. The meta part, I, I personally felt like I could have like intertwined better, I guess, but... I thought it was fine. It still seemed to work pretty well. I also like, enjoy how many of our videos end up with basically just being us like in front of some sort of etherical green screen version of our YouTube in plate. Yeah. Yeah, we it's do. It's like, like at least 3 videos now. By the way, we're both like very tired for different reasons. So, I keep I keep trying to talk and then just not having words. Right. Well, so. I don't even get that far. My brain just like, are you do you need to be talking? <laughs> no. Zedlafire reminds me of a professor from Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> this was I don't remember this. I didn't either, but Allison mentioned it at one point. It was like, wasn't there a Jimmy Neutron character that did that? And I was like, I don't know, Jimmy Neutron. Nobody remembers Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> and then I show it to Ethan. I like present the idea to him, and then Ethan just goes, oh, yes, Professor Finbar Calamitous or whatever. <laughs> and I was like, hey, what are you talking about? How do you both know this reference? And then everybody in the comments like referenced Jimmy Neutron, so apparently we're just out of the loop. I mean, I, I watched Jimmy Neutron, but not as much as I did other things. It was like this old professor guy that used to be like, a student at their school and he turned into an evil scientist but he never finished anything. They're like trying to figure out like who did this thing and they find like a half-eaten donut or something and it's like, but this is the most amazing donut in the world, nobody could ever finish it except for Professor Finbar <laughs> Calamitous or freaking whatever, I don't know. It's actually just Rachel, you just made a video about Rachel. <laughs> like, Rachel hates finishing things. Like, we got to the last two episodes of Rome and she stopped. <laughs> or, or she'll be watching like a reality TV show and she'll get up to the point when they've completed the challenges and they're standing in front of the panel of judges, waiting to be eliminated, and she'll stop for the night. What? I know! Why? I need water. From Nevturial. Ethan may be the worst, but he's my favorite. Well, he's my favorite too, but I strongly contend that I am actually the worst. Bob Bobbington says, do you, do you guys base the skits like Patient Gamer and this on your actual traits or just stereotypes? Both! Yeah. Kind of a mix. Like, um, Patient Gamer in particular, I was, uh, specifically, everything that I had been told about what I should be feeling about the things that I was doing, I played all the Assassin's Creed, and he's like, don't do that. And like, yeah, too bad. Like, you're gonna play the next Sonic game? Don't do that. Ha, <laughs> but I did. Most of the things we make Ethan say, he has no idea what we're talking about. Right, and most of the things that Ethan suggests we say, we have no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> He, I don't think he's seen Daredevil or... We, we mentioned Glow in the last one. He hasn't oh, right. seen that. Uh, JP is actually similar. I don't think JP has seen any of the stuff that he's in videos for. He never played Civilization or watched Daredevil. There's a comment on the Discord like, Is JP still part of the channel? <laughs> so yeah. we can actually get like him in stuff since we have, even have plans for him. We have two videos written specifically for him that we will hopefully just like make a like a trip to Austin just for filming with JP soon or have him come here. That's better. One of them might involve a recurring character or a it's... character we're bringing back, and that's all I'm gonna say. Um, <coughs> that's his name now. PKMN Ruler, which is either Pikmin Ruler or Pokemon Ruler. That's Pokemon, Kyle. <laughs> in the Pokemon games, so you could put Pokemon in things, they have a special PKMN character. So, Pikmin Ruler says, is 2007 a special year? It seems like there are a lot of references in their videos, which tend to point to 2007, or maybe, maybe I'm look, just looking too deeply into it. Kind of, yes, actually. In my head, 2007 is a special year. Yeah? Yeah, because a lot of the things I like happened in 2007. 2007 was a good year. It was the Orange Box year. Yep. It's when Team Fortress 2 and Portal all came out. And I think it was when Halo 3 came out also, which was kind of like a big game of my childhood. A lot of game stuff happened in 2007. 2007 was a great year for gaming. I, I feel like 2007 is the earliest I could ever sort of consider myself a person. That's, yeah, I think that's, that's kind of what it is. Like, for some reason, that's that's the beginning year for yeah. me. Anything really before have, that was, like, yeah. early high school Ian, who was still, like, you know, rough and unfinished. 2007 is when Skype, when we started using Skype. Yeah. That's when I started using the internet, actually. So, I... To answer your question, none of it's intentional. Maybe it's a weird subconscious thing that we keep pointing back right. to 2007. It's but one of our weird things, like 2007 is the first real year, and meanwhile 2012 and 13 and 14 didn't exist. Right. From Zach's Go Not sure if somebody's already asked it, but ever thought about redoing any of your old videos? E.g. Runaway Smith. I'm quite curious about how they would look with your current style and skills. 
Weirdly, we have gotten that request a lot. Yeah. I specifically considered doing Runaway Smith again on the anniversary of Runaway Smith. Well, that's kind of fair, Just actually. for fun, because uh, next year, it'll be ten years since we released that one. Mm-hmm. So I thought it'd be fun just to do, like, a full-scale production to do that, remake of Runaway Smith. You'd have, to, you'd have to direct Reed and John to act exactly like old Reed and John. Not <laughs> Cartana asks, can you sell Prince of Cave Johnson? No. <laughs> It's not mine to sell. It's a copyrighted image that I just did a big painting of, so legally we cannot do that. We got, like, five people asking that same question. Yeah, well, I mean, it doesn't make sense. Like, most people, when they see, like, a cool thing, like, they're not like, oh, how do I make one of those? They're like, oh, how do I buy one of those? Yeah. Kyle, you're the stupid one for going, ah, I'll just make that. From you 12 k you people have reached the point where I see a new video by you and one by Loading Ready Run, and I'll actually watch yours first. I love that comment. <laughs> That's super cool. That was just like one of those moments of like awesome little victories. I think that, that does like my heart pangs a little bit. Like, no, no, they deserve it. <laughs> James R says, so will there be a door monster army? Someone has to combat the evil forces of Reddit. I've been paying a little bit of attention to the stuff. Uh, I almost don't want to talk about this just because of like, okay, avoiding, we're not getting into YouTube drama stuff. It's I've just YouTube been drama? noticing the uh, the Jake Paul stuff that's been happening because you know what I will shut up about it. The only reason I have any kind of connection to it is because he's like the poster boy for Power TV. Right. So when I was first like signing on and dealing with my problems, that was like a big deal. They got Jake Paul and I didn't know who that was, but I just saw his face everywhere. And then apparently recently he's been terrorizing people in his neighborhood or something. But, oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's this whole thing where he's like like extremely disruptive to everybody around him because he like gave his address out. So there's right. like fans crowding around his house and he does all these really loud things and holds these big, holds these big parties and stuff but he's one of these people mm-hmm. who so when I was in middle school I thought the idea of an internet army was really cool and I think most people in middle school do because it's like the concept sure. of having like all these people that you can be like attack and like go after yeah, it's somebody like, like, it's a really childish mindset to have though I think and you can see that when you see somebody like Jake Paul who's super into the whole Internet Army thing. Um, as you will see, if any of his fans find this video, because they are that kind of group. Let's first acknowledge that we are living the 12-year-old dream. <laughs> we are, for sure. It's a certain kind of maturity, though. Like we, Sure. Like, we are... I feel like we are adult enough to be able to pull this off. Right. Specifically because we're not the kind of people who are going to go like, yeah, I have fans on the Internet. That means right. I have power of some kind. That's, that's it's, all it's one we're of those saying it's like, is... By the time you have it, you should have the discipline not to. Right. On Reddit, I went and named all of our fans doormen. Uh, not to be gender exclusive, if you have, like, a suggestion of how you can... Door people. It door... just makes them sound like a weird, like, doesn't really work. Doorman works because uh, Ian... We, I, I was making the podcast cover, Superhero Chicken Fest, and Ian just called the superhero doorman, and we realized how weirdly well that worked. Yeah, <laughs> and I just kind of got this image of like I, I've always liked the uh, the image of like the defender character who's like you know standing at the gate with like the halberd and the helmet and the shield and everything. Right. So I I sort of only created you this image. would take the word doorman and think of <laughs> Heimdall and not a bellhop. Protect the people who are minding their own business against all of the internet trolls without trying to incite rage yourself. That is that is my poorly worded call to action. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> From Simplified Apocalypse. That's nice. The Helvetica of Apocalypses. <laughs> so this is legitimately my first video of yours I've watched, to my memory, and seeing how supportive and loving your community is being during this time is really telling how amazing your stuff is. Oh dear god, why is the binge playlist so big? This is gonna take forever. I just really wanted to include this comment. So the, I posted the video this Monday about not being able to post a video, and every single comment on the video was super supportive and amazing, and I just wanted to thank you all for it. And this was... My just my favorite like encapsulation of all of them. Thanks guys. Thanks guys for getting us another subscriber just by being amazing. <laughs> yeah, like we literally did nothing. That was that was entirely the community is responsible for this one. Like the video was sorry we're not posting a video and somebody goes huh I'll stick around. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we got we got stuff on DFTV. We got it's stuff. super cool. I'm really excited about it. And I hope everybody else is as excited as I am because I'm probably geeking out over it a little bit too much. But on DFTV we have some stuff available for pre-order and I'll put a link like right at the top of the description. Um, and we have stickers and we have pins. 
and they're pretty small things to start with. I think they're really cool. They're completely custom made products. They're like die cut Door Monster stickers of the logo with Door Monster TV like printed in them, and they come in packs of four. And then you can also get uh, vinyl pins that's actually just like a cut out Door Monster logo that you can like pin into your bag or jacket. Oh, or... so they're vinyl? Like they're, they're not they're just like little circle yeah. ones? No, no, no. It's not like those crappy little buttons that you get. It's like an actual. Like, like an proper, enamel? Yeah, enamel. That's the word. Yeah, like an enamel pin Whoa. Um, of the logo. I can feel like, like, I can feel like a lapel pin. Like, yeah, like a lapel like, pin. Like, oh, look, he's present. Oh, no, wait. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, I bought two of those and four of the sticker packs already. Uh, and if you would like to pre-order them, you can go uh, to the link, like I said, and they should ship, I think, uh, in the middle of August is what it says on the pages. And I'll be putting up a, uh, an announcement at the end of um, next Monday's sketch also. But I wanted to go and let you guys know in case you wanted to go check them out. Um, and we're, I'm also using them to test to see how well we can sell things on here. So if you want to, even just for the sake of supporting future things, if you go buy a few of them now, the higher the sales numbers are, the easier it will be to convince DFTBA to make more stuff later. For all you people who are scrambling for a hobo plushie. Right, that's one of the things on our list, literally. That's apparently something we can do. We are going to make little hobo plushies at some point. Um, as well as like posters with like all the characters and uh, door monster gaming dice is something we want to do. Leave your comments and questions on the videos this week and we will get to the next week. Any, is there anything else or is that? Uh, I think that's about it. Cool. Yeah, we will. We're trying to recover. We will we'll hopefully look better by next time. Speak for yourself, Kyle. You look fine, yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll see you next Friday.